Hello, it's been a bit since I put out my last video, but I thought I'd share my thoughts on this upcoming submerged FL season as well as what you can do to get ready for it. A lot of people throughout the years have actually joked about an FL or FRC water game, so I think this is a little bit of an ode to it. Also with this FL season, I think of the scene. We can already see from this picture that there's going to be two launch areas, there's going to be a gap where you can probably store your equipment, and there's going to be a shared task this time. It looks like on the mission models, anything that is yellow is probably something that the robot is going to move to score points. For the shared task, it looks like we're supposed to lift our side of whatever this structure is in the middle to slide the submersible down to the other side. And I suspect whoever gets there first to do this scores points. I suspect this orca we flip down and the orca is going to spit out some objects that we're going to collect and probably deliver somewhere. We probably also push on this yellow piece here to score points and flip down the orca. I imagine we just push this boat. This anchor actually starts here, so I'd be surprised if we drop it back down. I suspect we actually bring it back to the launch area or something, or maybe deliver it somewhere else. I'd be highly surprised if this octopus or squid is not delivered to somewhere else. Also, I suspect you trigger this octopus or squid dropping by pushing on this yellow slider. This rotating mission model is almost certainly going to be the hardest task that the submerged season has to offer. I suspect that you score more points the more rotations you've done, and also if you get over these green lever things, however you do that. If for this boat, all we do is we flip it down, this is going to be a very easy task, but if we have to pick it up, it's still not going to be crazily difficult, but it'll be somewhat harder. It's interesting that they actually have a mission model that puts something in one of the two, I would say, home areas, because they've never done this before. I suspect we also deliver the shark somewhere else if we want to score points somehow. We probably raise the maps of the shipwreck to score points somehow. And this is where the octopus goes. I wonder what we do also with these floating things that are scattered around the field. I suspect maybe we collect them and deliver them to something? Or take them to the launch area or home area? It looks like to score this anglerfish, we pull a yellow lever and that will rotate the anglerfish out. This is a teaser video, and these are just my predictions on what I think we're going to be doing to score points, according to what I see on this video. They're obviously going to release the rules and the ways to score points in August this year. I am going to finish this video, though, by talking about what I think your team should do between now and August when they release the reveal. So for the innovation project, 
we can already start looking at problems relating to underwater things. So it could be trash that ends up at the bottom of our oceans or bodies of water. It could be something about the destruction of reefs. It could honestly be something else that your team could consider. But you can already start thinking about what possible research or innovation project ideas your team can have, and your team can even consider doing some researching and consider proposing some solutions. But you don't have to rush this. Take your time, because as you know, the season hasn't started yet. For the robots, I do not think it is worth trying to start developing a robot already to accomplish a submerged FL season, because your team in no way would have the FL setup kit at the time this video was released. However, what your team can absolutely do is try to learn new concepts. You can try building some ideas from videos you've seen of this year, the masterpiece year. You can try learning how to program the robot to use certain sensors. I would recommend the color sensor. You can also consider trying to make improvements to your team's robot from the previous year to learn new things, such as maybe we can try to make the robot score more quickly, maybe we can make a robot more reliable, and you can look at some ideas you see from other teams on YouTube or from the compositions and try making them. That's all for this video. I hope you learned something and you enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to this channel, and comment down below what your team is doing between now and the start of the submerged FL season. I'm sorry I haven't been able to upload as much recently because I started a new job and I've been busy since then. But, as I know my schedule, I will try to make sure I upload more often. Thank you for watching and have a good one.